Hello everyone, I'm going to talk of the importance of eating fermented millets today and show you how easy it is to make them part of our daily diet. So fermented foods have been part of the human tradition across different cultures and from ancient times. The process of fermentation introduces microbiomes that our body needs to perform a variety of physiological functions. They help our body complete those biochemical processes which will remain incomplete in their absence. Today it is the absence of so many of these microbiomes in our body, in our gut primarily, that is responsible for the conditions that we are seeing increasing every day. So many wise people have said we are what we eat. And that is true because what we eat and the microbiomes that exist in our body are controlling the way we think, the way we feel. Uh, so many people, including children, are increasingly being afflicted by depression or not feeling good, feeling tired. Almost every chronic condition is now attributed to microbial imbalance. And a lot of research is now pointing at missing microbiomes as being responsible for these conditions. So why millets? Our body needs carbohydrates, the right kind of carbohydrates. Because carbohydrates is a source of energy, the source of glucose which gives energy. And wheat and rice are not the right kind of carbohydrates for us because they enter way too fast in the blood causing glucose spikes. Not only are they implicated in diabetes but also in other conditions including hypertension, high cholesterol and a variety of other organ malfunction. I will talk about millets in another video but I just want to emphasize the fact that millets are the only grains that do not at ever at any point spike up the glucose level in our body. That's because the fiber in the small millets is unique. The nature of the fiber that is present in millets causes a slow and steady release of glucose in the body and that is the reason why there is never a spike of glucose at any point in the body. The breakdown of millets in the body also results in the production of what's called short chain fatty acids. These short chain fatty acids spawn the growth of a variety of healthy gut microbes. We know of the connection between the gut and the brain today. Whatever happens in the gut affects the way we feel, affects the way our brain functions. These short chain fatty acids transmitted to the brain induces calmness in the brain. To have good microbes and to have microbial balance is critical for us at all times. Fermented millets provides us these microbes. Between the fiber that is found in all these five small millets, which is foxtail, kudo, little millet, barnyard and brown top, we are able to introduce a variety of microbiomes that help us in various biochemical processes that are taking place in the body. Different kinds of microbes are needed to perform different physiological functions like digestive functions, like immune functions, like creating targeted antibodies which are helpful to fight off pathogens, like manufacture of different vitamins. And that is why it's important that we eat all the five small millets. We ferment all five small millets. Eating all these five millets, preferably in fermented form, we will be able to restore the microbial imbalance that is disrupted in many of us today. Microbes in humans are destroyed by foods that carry antibiotics used in their production. It is common in industrial farming to spray antibiotics on produce as pesticides to be injected in animals directly or added to their feed and water. These antibiotics enter us when we eat these foods. B12, which, is, which we think as source for meat, is actually produced by microbes. They improve the sleep quality and reduce the effects of stress in our body. And the other important function that microbes help that we get from fermented millets is detoxing, is the process of cleaning our body. Glutathione, which is considered a master detox agent, is produced by microbes in our body. They reduce circulation of toxins in our body and reduce the burden that falls on our organs like kidney and liver to do this cleansing process. Eating 
fermented millets for a period of six to nine months, sometimes more, actually helps us reverse many of the conditions that are today labeled irreversible and chronic. The process of fermenting all the five small millets is the same and it is important to soak all these five millets for six to eight hours before we cook them whether we ferment them or not. Follow the soaking and the cooking process these millets can be eaten by anyone all age groups in all weathers. The important thing is to soak these millets because the process of soaking helps in the absorption of water by the fibers and it activates the enzymes and and initiates the processes taking place inside the grain. There is a little bit of learning, some effort and organization involved, like with everything else. But then when you experience the results, as have so many others, you will agree that it is totally worth it.